Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2013 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive. Now the most notable features on the XLE is its power moonroof, its heated front seats, as well as its backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2013 Sienna XLE all-wheel drive. Let's get started. Now a couple of the features that you will see on the exterior of the XLE is your auto daytime running lights and your fog lamps and if we just take a look down below you're going to see your block heater. Over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your heated mirrors as well as your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it will actually light up just alerting you that there is another vehicle right beside you. Now the other nice thing with this XLE is it does come with the window visors just located on all four sets of windows on the front. And you have your black style roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gold. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your um, light gray interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look over on your left hand side, you're going to see your mirror controls as well as your traction control on and off, your parking sensors as well as your blind spot monitoring on and off as well. And then if you take a look down below, you'll also find your uh, little bit of storage for some coin. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your volume control as well as your scroll function. You have your mode select and then you also have your Bluetooth with your voice recognition and your cruise control. Now I'm just going to close in on the exact kilometers just so you know where it's sitting at currently. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look at the very top, you're going to see your exterior temperature gauge as well as your digital clock and a distance to empty. And then you also have your temperature control settings set for your dual zone climate control. So depending on if your passenger wanted to adjust their temperatures accordingly, you could do so. Or if you wanted to control both temperatures at the same time, if you just hit the sync button that's just located down below, it'll sync up all the temperatures together. Now you have your AM, FM, CD player and your uh, satellite radio as well. Now if I did say touch panel display beforehand, sorry, let me just <laughs> reiterate there, it's your AM, FM, CD player. Now taking a look down below here, you're going to see um, your temperature control settings for your fan speed as well as your front and rear defroster matted to an automatic transmission. Taking a look down below, you're going to see your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger as well as your power outlet and an additional power outlet with your USB and auxiliary. Now taking a look at the very top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with your integrated garage door opener and your digital compass. Taking a look at the very top here, you're going to see your open and closed um, buttons for your power rear doors. And then you also have your uh, power lift gate opener. And then taking a look here, you also have your sunglass case holder with uh, an additional mirror on the inside just so you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as the back of your tailgate. But just before I show you that, I'm just going to quickly show you what uh, your uh, power rear doors are going to actually uh, open like. So all you have to do is just pull on the handle once and it'll open up automatically. You have your second row captain seats in the back here. One of the nice things with the power rear doors is all you have to do is just press on the button once and it will close automatically for you. Now parents, if you're worried about your kids getting their hands uh, caught in the door, then with the power sliding rear doors, if it does sense an obstruction, it will open itself back up until the obstruction is has been removed and then all you have to do is just pull on the handle once more and it will close up automatically. Now taking a look on your rear bumper you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of your tailgate you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Sienna emblem here. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now taking a look just over on your right hand side, you're going to see an additional power outlet just in case you do want to plug in some of your digital devices for your third row. Now one of the nice things with this third row is it's a 60-40 split so in the event that you do need the additional passenger capacity, you have that option or if you need the additional cargo space, all you have to do is just push on this piece here to fold the headrest down and then just by pulling on this piece here located in the middle, we'll pull the seat back and then back into the floor and then just by pushing this flap up it'll keep everything flat. So depending on what your needs are for, you can have the 40 side down or the 60 side down. Now in the event that you do need to have them folded back up, the instructions are located on the back of the seat here. But all you would have to do is just pull on this middle piece here again. Let it lock itself into place and then just pull on the strap on the back of the seat. 
and then adjust it accordingly. The nice thing with that is that you can have it tilted back farther just so that your third row passengers are comfortable. And as you can see, you have plenty of rear cargo space just in case uh, you have to take the kids off to hockey or you have a family trip that you're planning. Taking a look over on the left hand side, you also have some storage space as well. Now, one of the other nice things with this uh, rear cargo space, well I should say with the tailgate, is that you also have a power tailgate as well. So all you have to do is push on the button once and it will close automatically for you. Now, one of the things I like with the Sienna is that if you do need some additional cargo space, you can actually take out those second row seats as well, just so you have a little bit more room, just in case you're moving a couple of things. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2013 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.